all that goes with that. I mean, I love people and I love the work that I do. And one of the, one of the beautiful things that we get to do as actors is be completely subjective when we approach our characters. We just love them and back them up. We're their advocate. So this was somebody I felt I could really back up. And she's flawed, and that's what, is, that's what good writing is all about. One of the things that I loved so much about it was that there wasn't a villain um, in the story. Um, everyone is, is real, and uh, it's very hard to write well when you don't write a villain. Um, it's much easier if you have a sort of protagonist and antagonist and all that, that this is more subtle than that, and that really interested me, because I think that's more like real life in many cases. Every actor who works with Bill Nye is delighted, and that's what I had heard. There were rumors that he was good to work with. And of course, I've had a crush on him for decades, and that's okay, I'm married. I've also been married for decades. My husband understands it's okay that I have a crush on Bill Nye. And so when I knew that Bill was willing to do it, I was thrilled. And well, he's just, he's generous and he's present and he's, uh, he's always a good example to follow as an actor. I, 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 I almost like watching other people act as much as I enjoy it myself, if not more. And so watching him and listening to him and um, from the minute we started, we just got on very well. And um, I think he is an enormous talent. He also happens to be a great person. And that is, um, that's just a bonus. <laughs> so uh, he's a delightful man and uh, a fine actor and really a dedicated person to the craft. And he also knows how to have fun, which I also do, and I love that and I appreciate it as much as possible. So it's been great working with him. Josh O'Connor is um, a wonder. I, um, I had met him very briefly once before we were working on this. Um, he has one of those people who is um, delightfully present uh, when he's working responsive and so I was um, I was really amazed by him and felt uh, I was immediately put into a scene if I'm with Josh because he's present he's there he's doing it and there's usually something surprising that he's doing and he's clearly thought of I don't know it's just really lovely and uh, and delightful young actor who is um, now off doing, going to be off and doing amazing, more amazing things. But no, I, I really appreciated him and his sense of truth and his simplicity and his presence and just his whole demeanor. The relationship between Grace and, and Jamie, so Ma, I'm Grace, uh, is complicated because um, my husband has left me and I pull my son in to sort of try to get my husband back. And I think what I do with Jamie is what happens to a lot of people inadvertently when they're splitting up, especially the person who's been left, as is the case in this story. I'm, I'm the one who's left. My husband leaves me. So I, I pull him in in a way that I'm just desperate to get my husband to come back. I, I love that about Grace. She doesn't give up. And she immediately thinks that there's something she can do. As many of us do when we're in a hopeless situation, we think, well, if I just do something, I can change this situation. Um, it is out of her control, but she doesn't know that. And so Jamie becomes a way of, of linking herself to her husband because he won't see her. So um, that is part of the story. And what happens from that is the growth that he goes through and she goes through as well, which is to understand that um, 
nobody can change the situation and, and that this is what's happened. It's out of her control and it's out of his control. And so that's part of the, the beauty of the writing is that Jamie also has to learn to let go of her and she has to learn to not only let go of her husband but also let go of her son and be her own person independent of them. We're happy, aren't we, Edward? Yes, we're fine. I'm going to leave. You can't just walk away after 29 years. I have tried for 29 years. No. You don't know that. Have you tried? Mum, he's in love! a different life. That's enough. There were three unhappy people, and now there's only one. All those years ago, I got on the wrong train. Golden Globe Show に輝く名優たちが紡ぐ家族それぞれのリスタート。Terrible as it is, I don't know that however bad it gets, I can last it out because you did before me. The thing about unhappiness is, after a while, it stops being interesting. 彼らがたどり着いた思いもよらない希望とは幸せの答え合わせ。